हेलो अरवन इन दिस आई एन आर नंबर सेवेंटी नाइन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक कॉल्ड एज ट्यूमर लाइसिस सिंड्रोम राइट सो वॉट इज ट्यूमर लाइसिस सिंड्रोम वाई आई सेट इट इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज दीज आर ऑन्कोलॉजिकल इमरजेंसीज राइट सो दीज ऑन्कोलॉजिकल इमरजेंसीज विल बी ट्रिगर्ड बाई वॉट थिंग सो इट इज ट्रिगर्ड बाई मैसिव ट्यूमर सेल लाइसिस वेन देयर इज अ मैसिव ट्यूमर सेल लाइसिस just imagine when you will see the massive tumor cell lysis whenever we are having a very proliferative tumor and remember the most proliferative tumors in our human bodies are lymphomas or leukemias so basically hematological malignancies are commonly associated with the tumor lysis syndrome and which hematological malignancy is the most commonly associated so remember it is most commonly associated with burkitt's lymphoma right so mostly it is due to the treatment when you will initiate the treatment that time lysis will start that time it can happen or it can occur spontaneously also especially those who are those who are fast you know uh, fastly growing tumors they can also create spontaneous tumor lysis syndrome so what are the features because of the tumor lysis what are the features we are going to expect because tumor lysis will happen so cell will release potassium so patient will be having hyperkalemia right so patient will be having hyperkalemia so what will be the sign of hyperkalemia so patient will be having muscle weakness and ecg finding arrhythmias so what are the ecg finding you will see hyperkalemia finding right so t wave peaks will be there and p wave flattening can be present or qrs interval will be prolonged so these are the findings you will be seeing in tumor lysis syndrome in which will be suggestive of hyperkalemia right so t wave peaks uh p wave uh, sorry t wave peaks p wave flattening and qrs interval prolongation then you will see hypocalcemia right hypocalcemia will be there because of the increase in the level of phosphate right because these cells will be damaged and phosphate will be coming out from the dna breakdown or nucleic acid breakdown and because of this phosphate what will happen they will be combining with calcium and that will be causing hypocalcemia so what will be the uh, finding on the hypocalcemia clinical finding how you will see you will find the patient will be having seizure or tetany right so seizure or hypocalcemic tetany can be present and ecg will be showing you arrhythmia so what are the ecg arrhythmia finding in the hypocalcemia so remember qt interval prolongation is very important so hypocalcemia hypocalcemia ecg finding qt prolongation will be present right hypo so see as i said because nucleic acid will be getting damaged so phosphate will be highly uh, you know in in high turnover so that that will be coming into the urine and that will form the calcium pyrophosphate crystal so this is how calcium pyrophosphate crystal will be formed and because of uric acid uh, because of nucleic acid damage uric acid will be also in excess amount and they will form the uric acid crystal so now you can see there are two crystals calcium phosphate crystal and uric acid crystal and these two crystals will be causing acute kidney injury right so these are the important points about the tumor lysis syndrome they will have hyperkalemia hypocalcemia hyperphosphatemia and hyperuricemia so what examiner ask basically they are all having hyper hyperkalemia hyperphosphatemia hyperuricemia but remember calcium is not hyper calcium will be hypocalcemia right and ecg finding will be qt prolongation so what will be the prevention so prevention is the better thing for this patient so prevention can be done by aggressive hydration right aggressive hydration and allopurinol and treatment will be rasburicase right so rasburicase we can use in the treatment but we have to be very careful that rasburicase you have to avoid in g6pd deficiency anemia because it can precipitate g6pd deficiency anemia so keep revising this topic for your upcoming neat pg and fmg exam both and my best wishes to all of you